the woman who will be Minnesota's next U.S. Senator is a largely behind-the-scenes player who came to elected office late in her career and passed up a major shot at power just a few months ago. Tina Smith isn't passing a second time. Gov. Mark Dayton on Wednesday named his trusted lieutenant governor and former chief of staff to fill Democratic Sen. Al Franken's seat until a special election next November. Smith, a Democrat, will also run in that election to complete the final two years of Franken's term, she said Wednesday. The appointment comes less than a year after Smith, widely seen as being groomed to succeed Dayton, announced that she wouldn't run for governor. Smith didn't give a clear reason why, but the announcement came as the Democratic field was filling up. Smith said in a Facebook post at the time that she never expected nor planned to serve in elected office. And her path to politics was indirect. Smith, 59, a native of Albuquerque, New Mexico, moved to Minnesota in 1984 after earning an undergraduate degree at Stanford and an MBA from Dartmouth to take a job in marketing for General Mills. Minnesota Gov. Mark Dayton appointed Lt. Gov. Tina Smith on Wednesday to replace fellow Democratic Sen. Al Franken until a special election in November, setting up his longtime and trusted advisor for a potentially bruising 2018 election. Smith was widely seen as Dayton's top choice from the moment. Minnesota Gov. Mark Dayton appointed Lt. Gov. Tina Smith on Wednesday to replace fellow Democratic Sen. Al Franken until a special election in November, setting up his longtime and trusted advisor for a potentially bruising 2018 election. Smith was widely seen as Dayton's top choice from the moment. She became increasingly politically active in the 1990s, founding a marketing and political consulting firm in 1992. She managed a losing 1998 gubernatorial campaign for Ted Mondale, then led former Vice President Walter Mondale's unsuccessful Senate campaign in 2002 after Sen. Paul Wellstone's sudden death. She was Vice President of External Affairs for Planned Parenthood Minnesota, North Dakota and South Dakota from 2003-06, a post that doesn't appear on her official state bio page nor on her LinkedIn account. After that, she served as Chief of Staff to Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback. Ryback, a former Democratic National Committee vice chairman, said voters shouldn't confuse Smith's decision to skip the governor's race in 2018 with a lack of grit for a grueling campaign. He thinks she is uniquely suited to the Senate. It plays to a couple of her strengths, the ability to really dig in and understand issues in depth and a pretty off-the-chart ability to find common ground among people who don't always agree, he said. Adam Duinink, a longtime Democratic operative who served in Dayton's cabinet, said he saw Smith's public political skills grow after she became lieutenant governor in 2015. She's not afraid to jump on a stage and give a speech or rally a room in search of a cause. She's able to do both of those roles pretty well, Duinink said. Ryback called Smith instrumental as a liaison between his office and the state in responding to the Interstate 35W bridge collapse in 2007 then rebuilding it.